Hello everyone. Hi. How's it going? How's everyone doing today? Um, today we're going to be talking about um, well, Julius Caesar uh, for a little bit, answering your questions in order for you guys to write your essay. Well, I hope that'll help. So. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. So. Feel free to leave messages either on Teams or. So, does anyone have any questions before we before we start? If you already wrote your essay, you don't have to be here. Uh, if you already did write your essay, feel free to make any changes, though, based off of what you hear today. Yeah, it's a nice headset. So, any questions? Anyone got any questions about Julius Caesar before I just start talking? Yes, you can be here. Any questions about Julius Caesar before I begin? You can write everything by yourself. This is just for people that are having, um, they need some of the information summarized, maybe make it easy. Who killed him? We'll get to that at the end. That's for you guys to decide whether he was good or bad. I'm just going to tell you the facts. I will tell you the facts, um, but you guys have to decide whether he was a good guy or a bad guy. So. If no one has any questions, uh, I'm just going to start talking a little bit about him. We'll probably talk for about, we'll probably be here for about 10, 15 minutes talking about Julius Caesar. Um, then I'll leave room for some questions at the end, and I'll also show you how to uh, upload the essay if you don't already know how to. Okay, then. I am not answering that question whether I think he's good or bad. That is the point of your essay. I'm not answering that question. No, this is about Laura. Yes, you may write this down. So. Let's start with an early life of Julius Caesar. Um, he is, Julius Caesar was from an ancient, ancient Roman family that had been around for approximately since the founding of Rome. However, what's interesting about that was even though they were very old, they were actually very poor. It was an ancient, noble family that was basically dirt poor.
When he was just 16, year old, 16 years old, his father died. Uh, his mother had survived, but his father had died uh, fighting in Asia. So, unfortunately, we know little of Julius Caesar's youth, as his time as a child, or even as a teen. A teen. Uh, but he grew up at a time of great social instability. Rome was very unstable at this time. It was constantly in a state of civil war, and people were, politicians were being murdered in the streets. So that's his early years. Uh, he eventually decides that it's time to join the army. And that's where Julius Caesar is going to spend his majority of his life is in the army. So, based off of this first part, his early years, um, does anyone have any questions about whether you think he's good or bad? So, anyone have any questions? Okay. Shortly after joining the army, um, Shortly after joining the army, he got kidnapped by pirates. If you remember the story, uh, we talked about it in class a little bit. Um, he that he was worth more. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Cool. Let's turn that down a little bit though. Can you hear me now? Can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear me?
had to uh, change my uh, headphones to my camera speaker. So, um, where was I? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, let's finish up this, and then we can go and jump on teams and have a discussion that way, because I need to see what's going on with my headphones. Alright, Julius Caesar lives a life in the military. Here are some of his accomplishments. Um... He lived a life serving Rome as a general. For many years, he protected Rome on the frontiers in Gaul. Eventually, he decides to launch a campaign to conquer Gaul, to protect them permanently. He is able to do this by basically waging a series of war wars over a decade, uh, <clears throat> devastating the Gallic people. But, in doing so, he protected the city of Rome and the Roman citizens. He was brutal against the Gallic people. Um, being ruthless and devastating to his enemies. However, he was also extremely kind and loyal to his soldiers, treating them with great respect and great wealth, uh, rewarding them for their loyalty. Eventually, <clears throat> Julius Caesar returns to Rome beginning the civil war that we played out in class between Julius Caesar and Pompey. Eventually Pompey loses the civil war, um, being defeated by Julius Caesar and his allies. And upon his return to Rome, he was hailed as the father of his country and was made dictator for life. He greatly transformed the Republic, relieving it of its debt, uh, reforming the Senate by increasing its size, and opening it up so that it better represented all Romans. He gave us the 365-day calendar, and we also reorganized local government so it would be less corrupt. He also rebuilt the cities of Carthage and Corinth, which had been destroyed by the Romans years before. And he granted citizenship to foreigners. He also invited several of his defeated rivals into his government. On the other hand, Julius Caesar um, was also not very tolerant of uh, dissent in Rome. He was very kind to the lower and middle class, but the upper class who helped rule and govern the city despised him, uh, saying that he wanted to be made a king. And it's very possible that he was, wanted to be a king. Eventually, 
Julius Caesar gets assassinated uh, by Cassius and Brutus. It's this death, though, that solidifies Caesar in history. He quickly becomes a martyr for the Roman Empire, and especially for the lower and middle class. However, to get to that position of power, where he eventually gets murdered and assassinated, Julius Caesar commits horrific acts, especially during war against his enemies. I would describe them all, but you guys are all 6th graders, so I don't want to do that. I wouldn't be nice or fair to you. But just know that they are horrific. The, we're talking about hundreds of thousands dying in Gaul. Is he good or is he bad? That's for you to decide. Is he good? Some people would say, yeah, he's necessary. He gives us the calendar. Uh... He creates a Roman Empire that will bring stability to Europe for almost 400 years. On the other hand, mass murder. It's bad. Um, deification, uh, seizing power for himself. These are all things that are not done by good people. It's complicated. So, who killed him again? Um, he was killed by his enemies in the Senate. Specifically, um, we're looking at Gaius, uh, Cassius, and Brutus. So, this is the sort of life that Julius Caesar lives. A very complicated and contradictory life. He's both good in some ways and incredibly bad in others. But no, you must make take a stand. You must say that he is more good than bad or more bad than good. You could acknowledge that he was, did some good things. But you must make a stand and take a stand on the issue. History may be gray... But I want you to see it black and white for this. So, does anyone have any questions? If not, we're going to transition this on to Teams, um, where we can have a group discussion together. I'll pull all the sixth grade into one for the moment, for a single day so that we can have a discussion that way. I'll wait a few minutes for the uh, video to catch up to what you guys are seeing. Alright then, if there are no questions, uh, I'm going to transition this onto the Teams platform where we can have a uh, chat there. I'm going to see if I can get the uh, voice chat working there. Um, so, I hope this video helps. I might have to edit it down for the people that watch it later. So, was Brutus' son? Um... Allegedly, he was his nephew, uh, but he adopted, uh, no, Augustus was his nephew. Brutus was supposed to be his best friend. Um, it's also urban legend that he was also his son. There's no proof anyways. That rumor has just persisted for the last 2,000 years. What was Julius Caesar's dad's name? Uh, Julius Caesar's dad's name was Gaius Julius Caesar. He had his father's name.
All right, then, if that's it, uh, I will see you all on Teams in just a few minutes. Have a great day.